Okay, what's up traders? So today we have a very exciting video for you. Okay, um, we actually hesitated to talk about um, this pattern. Okay, but uh, we felt that, um, you know, we'll just share it with you. Okay, so uh, this pattern that we observe in this market is called the Forex Institutional Pattern. Uh, basically, it's about how um, the uh, institutional players or rather the big boys, um, they use this pattern repeatedly to make money uh, off retail traders like us. Okay, so uh, if you understand um, the uh, Forex Institutional uh, pattern or rather how they actually operate, how they have their edge in the market against you, then uh, you will be able to uh, align yourself uh, with them, right? And not be uh, caught on the wrong side of the market. Okay, so uh, of course we'll explain what uh, this pattern is about. So in today's lesson, we'll talk about um, what the Forex in Institutional pattern is. Okay, um, of course then we'll go on to identify fight on charts because uh, we'll just tell you what it is uh, it doesn't really mean much if we don't show you how to identify it okay we also show you um how off movement in forex can be understood through this pattern okay and this pattern is made out of um, three components which uh, we'll cover later and lastly we also talk about um the practical aspect of it which is how do you use this pattern to create a trading plan uh, that makes money? Okay, how do you use this uh, trading pattern or uh, forex institutional pattern to identify the direction that uh, the big boys are actually taking, and how do you trade alongside them? Okay, so let's get into it. So before we get into it, I want to talk about why this pattern is so important. Okay, uh, early on we say that uh, you know this pattern helps you align on the right side of the market. Okay, but this pattern is also very important because uh, it's always happening 100% of the time. Okay, that means that uh, whether you know it or not, uh, it's always happening. So this is something that uh, you, you definitely want to take note. Okay, and if it's happening 100% of the time, then uh, it's definitely observable across all time frames. Okay, so this pattern is relevant regardless of whether you know you are trading the M15, you are you are a day trader, you are a scalper, you are a swing trader. Uh, it is observable across all time frames. Okay, so your trading uh you know decisions is actually being influenced by um this um pattern. Okay, whether you know it or not. And hopefully today uh, with this video, it will change the way uh, you, you see the market. Okay, that's our goal of creating this video. Okay, and also to give you an exact trading plan that never changes. Okay, because this is how um, uh, the big boys work. Okay, you must understand that the big boys, um, they, are in the, they are doing this uh, professionally. They are in this business. Um, it doesn't make sense for them to be changing their trading strategy every single day okay so that's what retail traders do right they, they jump from signal provider to signal provider they change from um, strategy to strategy right every you know when something goes through a drawdown they change their strategy but the institutional traders they're sticking to the same um, proven so-called business model or trading strategy uh, every single day okay and that's what we're going to cover with you okay so now you might ask what is the forex institutional pattern Okay, so the forex institutional pattern is made of three phrases. Okay, sorry, three phases, not phrases. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's made of contraction, expansion, and trend. Okay. Not to worry. I'll go uh into uh greater details for each of these phases. Okay. But uh, just know for now that uh, there are three phases. Okay. Be it uh contraction, expansion, and trend. Okay, in our case, uh, especially if you are a new trader, we want you to focus on uh, the trend. Okay, we, we, uh, trend is where you're going to make the most of the money. Okay, contraction is going to be the phase where you get very frustrated because you know price is going nowhere, as uh, you can see over here. Okay, price is going nowhere. Okay, and expansion is going to, if you know, if you got the wrong direction, for example, this expansion, uh, you sell, you're only going to have temporary profits, and if you don't exit fast enough, right? Um, you're going to lose money, okay? So it's very important to, uh, if you're new, focus on the trend and uh, we'll show you uh, exactly how you can uh, just trade the trend because it's the easiest and also the most profitable, okay? But before we move on, okay, I just want to touch on uh, this, uh, like some background about um, this, uh, this is pattern, okay? So when you look at techni technical analysis, you must understand that uh, behind every trade place in the market, Okay, you have a trader who believes they're going to win. 
Okay, you just just think about yourself. You're not going to open a trade if you think you're going to be you're going to be wrong, right? No one wants to lose money. Okay, that's a very uh you know that's that's hundred percent for sure. No one wants to lose money. The only reason someone buys something is because they believe that they're going to be right. Okay, therefore this means that uh the markets, okay, be it forex market, be it the stock market, they're all belief driven. Okay, uh, it, it reflects the beliefs of the traders or uh, collective belief. Okay, so the current and future price is only a result of the beliefs that support it. Okay, so in this case, you must understand that we are trying to analyze when we look at the chart, right? We're trying to analyze the beliefs behind uh, the, the traders. Okay, we're not trying to analyze price. Price is just kind of like a reflection of the belief of the market. Okay, and this uh, forex institutional pattern that we're talking about is actually looking at, um, trying to look at the beliefs of the big boys. What do the big boys believe? Do they believe that price is going to go up or do they believe that it's going to go down? Okay, because uh, if you've been trading for some time, you know that it's better, right, to follow the big boys because that's where you make most of the money. Okay, okay now let's get into the first phase, which is the contraction. Okay, so normally in this phase, uh, what you see is, is actually caused by low institutional volume. That means that the institutions are not very interested in, um, like, in, in taking a position. Okay, this kind of scenario happens like during you know, ECB, you know, Euro Central Bank conferences, you know, uh, Bank of Japan conferences. Um, basically, the market is not moving much because uh, the market is not sure yet. So what a lot of uh, you know retail traders try to do is you know they try to buy you know they try to sell and the truth is uh whether you buy or sell you know your profits are you know it's just very minimal okay even if you buy the low end of the range and sell the top um you, your profit is very minimal you don't really see explosive uh growth in your trading account okay so basically in this phase uh price is trapped and range is narrow. Okay, you'll see a lot of this kind of like doji candles. Okay, uh, if you do not know what a doji candle is, uh, get our book. We'll put it in uh, the, the download link uh, in the description below. Uh, we our free book. We talk about uh, what uh, the different type of candlestick pattern. So that will definitely help you. Okay, so basically, uh, back to this is that price is trapped and range is very narrow. Okay, so after contraction, right, means that um, there's no volume. Next comes the expansion phase. Okay, this happens when there's increasing institutional volume. That means that the institutions are taking activities. They are they're taking positions. Okay, so the mistake a lot of people take is that um, you know they trade the breakout. I mean, okay, it's fine to trade the breakout. There's nothing wrong with trading the breakout. But um, you have to be smart about it. Okay, so the range starts opening up. You can see that the candle body is, uh, you know, you look at this candle body. It's a big candle body now. Okay, uh, you don't really see this kind of doji candles, okay? And it starts taking out the highs and lows. So this low was taken out, this low was taken out, okay? So in this space, uh, a lot of retail traders, what they do is, uh, you know, they follow the trend. They say, oh, you know, uh, market has just, uh, has just broken out of a uh, consolidation uh, in which uh, they're kind of right, okay? Except that they, they don't realize that they're in the expansion phase, okay? And what smart money is doing is they're actually accumulating accumulating positions at discounted price okay as price goes down correct they are buying the position okay they are entering the market from uh, retail traders because for them to accumulate their position someone must sell them the uh, must give them the liquidity and because they are big boys right uh, and they want to create a big position they cannot do it upwards meaning they cannot buy beat the price on themselves okay what they do instead is they, they, they buy down instead, okay? So they just buy when price drops, you know, accumulating on the way down, okay? So what happens after they accumulate? So basically, there's a change of hands. Basically, uh, the retail traders are selling to the institution, institutional traders who uh, wants to uh, bring prices up, okay? So what happens next is trend phase, okay? Institutional traders start taking profit, you know, as a uh, price goes up to them. Okay, so what happens is that the traders, retail traders like you and I, who see this as a valid breakout, start shorting. You actually see uh temporarily profits. Okay, uh, and you, in fact, if if you don't even take your profit in time, uh, you you probably be stopped out if you know you put your uh stop loss above this swing high. Okay, so 
this is the phase that you want to be trading, okay? Uh, in this example, it's not the perfect example because of this kind of counter trend, okay? Um, but you get the idea, okay? The idea is always um, institutional traders are always uh, accumulating their positions on, a, you know, on the way down, okay? Accumulate on the way down. And then, you know, once retail traders are out, institutional traders, you know, they profit off and they repeat this phase over and over and over again. Okay, you just take a look at any charts, okay? After this, pause this video or maybe even pause this video right now, okay? Um, look at the chart, can be N15, can be H4, can be H1, doesn't matter. Okay, look at the chart and uh, I think you, you will see that this pattern always happens, okay? And this uh, trend phase is the phase that you want to be profiting off, okay? So now I can hear most of you asking, you know, okay, you know, all this theory is fancy, it's interesting, I agree with you, blah, 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 but... Show me the money, right? Ultimately, um, you, you want to know the strategy. How do you make money off this, right? It, it's, it's useless to know that, oh, this happens if you don't know how to like um, make money off it. So uh, right now, um, right now, we're going to teach you how you can actually use uh, this, this pattern, okay? Because uh, this, this video uh, is meant to give you kind of a, a training strategy that uh, you can test, okay? Uh, just a disclaimer, First, um, if you're going to use this strategy, try on a demo account first because um, you're still new and uh, identifying the three phases takes time, takes a lot of experience. So I uh, definitely use uh, caution, okay? Always be prudent. Okay, anyway, let's get to it. So how do we use this pattern to profit? Okay, uh, not to worry, you'll go through uh, each of these step by step. But for now, um, let me just give you an overview of how do you use this pattern to profit. Okay, so step number one, uh, you identify the contraction phase. Okay, uh, earlier on we say that the contraction phase is where you know the candles are narrow, prices is narrow, it's going nowhere. Okay, it typically happens during um like when there's an ECB press conference, there's a BOJ press conference of that FOMC. Okay, not always, but uh, generally. Okay, the step two would be to draw middle line to determine average price. Okay, uh, before you get confused with this, don't worry, we'll cover this. We'll make it crystal clear for you. Okay, step number three would be wait for the expansion phase. Okay, because after the expansion phase comes the trend phase. And uh, remember that uh, we want to be trading, um, you know, uh, the trend phase. Okay, so that's how we do it. Okay, and step number four will be we look for entries once price causes a fake break of the average price. Okay, so uh, let's just go through each of these uh, step by step. Okay, so we we'll expect the same, uh, you know, same charts as uh, just now. Okay, so number one, identify um, contraction phase. So earlier we talked on that uh, this is uh, uh, contracting. Okay, um, won't talk too much about this because we explained this just now. Okay, so after the contraction phase comes the, uh, you draw the middle line. Okay, so uh, you just, I mean, if you want to be really particular about your line, then you can just measure the entire range, uh, really draw it properly. Okay, this uh, because uh, we drew this off a uh, PowerPoint. Um, but if you are drawing on your chart, so uh, you can draw it properly. Okay, um, or maybe, yep, you can just draw it properly. Okay, uh, I think you can figure out how to draw the center line. It's quite simple. Okay, uh, you can use your Meta Trader. You can use your Trading View. Okay, uh, I don't think we should go into this. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay, so you draw the middle line here. So uh, we learned earlier on that after the uh. Contraction phase comes expansion phase. So we see the expansion phase over here. Okay. And we also say that uh, smart money is accumulating on the way down. Okay. So we wait for the expansion phase. So this expansion phase happens, right? Okay. So the next step would be, uh, or rather the last step uh, would be look for entries once price cause a fake break off the average price. So in this case, uh, you can see that, uh, you know, um, this is the average price, okay? We kind of estimated it, okay? Uh, you can see that this candle over here breaks above, then after it breaks below. Then it looks what happened after it breaks below. Uh, it, you know, it kind of we test here, test, 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 and then it starts plunging down. So this is how you use this pattern to profit, okay? Um, this is, of course, one of the many ways you can use this pattern to profit. Uh, the other way is, uh, you know, you can obviously try to uh, pick this bottom here, uh, which we will not cover in this video, but um, the most straightforward way uh, that you can use this pattern would be uh, what we just shared, okay? Um, this one, this is a trend, okay? Ideally, uh, if you can cap capture this trend, it would be good, but uh, 
because this is a beginner video and we want to provide a way that is simple, right, straightforward. You, you can just uh, use this first, okay? Uh, when you get proficient in this and then you want to learn uh, you know, how to pick this bottom, okay? Uh, then that one we will uh, I'll teach you again, maybe in the next video, okay? So hopefully that all these are clear, okay? So uh, let me just end off by talking, uh, sharing a recap of what you actually learned. So uh, earlier we talked about what the Forex institutional pattern is, right? We talked about how um, the Forex institution uh, use uh, big players, rather institutional players, uh, use this pattern as their business model. Okay, basically it consists of three phases. It consists of contraction, expansion and trend okay and we also talk about how trend is the um, is the phase that you want to be buying okay that uh, you want to be uh, that you want to be trading okay because uh, that is where you make the most money okay because you are on the same uh, pitch as the uh, big boys okay now we'll talk also about how to identify it on any charts right contraction is uh, the bodies of the candle are very narrow expansion is like a breakout and uh, the trend is kind of like the reversal of the uh, the breakout okay uh, we also talk about how all movement in forex can be understood through this pattern okay we actually ask you to take a look at some charts uh, look at the charts and uh, find out um, like look at this pattern yourself and you'll find it in every single time frame and lastly we end off with how do you use this pattern uh, through our four step Okay, um, if you need, scroll back to the video, watch the four steps again, and um, yeah, just apply it, okay? So, uh, we hope you enjoy this video. If you're new to our channel, definitely hit the subscribe button, okay? Uh, we try to create um, like two videos every week, okay? We try our best because uh, we are still running our signal service, and um, it's very hard to manage everything, but we'll try to carry on uh, giving you value, okay? If you're also new to our channel, also definitely get our um, free book, okay? It's uh, like a 40-page book um, that is... Uh, teaches you a trading system that we use so right it's totally free um you'll put a link below so uh, if you have any questions comment down below uh, write into us right we'll be happy to address your questions and uh we'll see you in the next video